Let's say we're given the function f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 6, and we're asked to find f of x plus h minus f of x plus 2h all over h, and then obviously simplify it as well. Just like we did in the previous problem, best approach uh, for this type of question is to do it in stages. Don't try to evaluate this whole thing in one go. Do one step at a time. So f of x plus h by itself means I take this function and wherever I see an x, I replace it with x plus h. That's what I did here. x plus h, the quantity squared, plus 4 times the quantity x plus h minus 6. We can clean this up by foiling out or, or distributing or using a special product formula on this first piece, which is going to give us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. We can distribute the 4. 4 times x is going to give us 4x. 4 times h gives us 4h minus the 6. Now here, it might look like there's a lot of terms, but they, none of these are like terms. They don't have anything in common. So I can't reduce anything or simplify anything. I'm just going to move on to the next piece, which is f of x plus 2h, this piece on the right-hand side. But here, we do the exact same thing that we did with x plus h, but instead of replacing it with x plus h, we're replacing it with x plus 2h. So squaring this out using the special product formula gives us x squared plus 4xh plus 4h squared, plus, now we distribute the 4, 4 times x gives us 4x, 4 times 2h gives us 8h, minus the 6. And again, here we see, just like we had previously, there are no like terms. There's nothing to simplify here. So with f of x plus h ready and simplified, f of x plus 2h ready and simplified, we can subtract one function from the other to figure out what the numerator is going to be. So f of x plus h minus f of x plus 2h gives us, well, this whole function minus this whole function. Now I ran out of space at the bottom of that slide, so I moved it on over to the next page. Here, we're going to distribute the negative over into this set of parentheses. And when we do, all the signs are going to flip. So all these terms that were positive, with the exception of the 6 at the end, all of them become negative. The 6 at the end that was negative becomes positive. Now at this stage, we have a whole bunch of common terms or like terms. We have an x squared here and a negative x squared, so those are going to go away. They're going to cancel each other out. Then we have a 2xh and a minus 4xh. That's going to give us a negative 2xh. We have an h squared and a negative 4h squared. That's going to give us negative 3h squared. 4x minus 4x cancel each other out. And then finally, or not finally, penultimately, 4h minus 8h will give us negative 4h. And finally, negative 6 and positive 6 will cancel each other out. So what's left over, as I said earlier, was negative 2xh minus 3h squared minus 4h. So this is our simplified numerator. The last thing left to do is, since we've found what the numerator is, divide it all by h. So I just wrote down the expression again. Now if I divide the whole thing by h, I have to divide negative 2xh minus 3h squared minus 4h by h. Now I cannot simply cancel one of these h's with this h on the bottom. I don't have a product in the numerator. I have a whole bunch of differences. However, what I can do is factor an h out of the numerator because this first term has it, the second term has it, and the third term has it as well. So there's a GCF, or greatest common factor of h, which can be factored out, leaving behind negative 2x minus 3h minus 4 on the inside, divided by h. Now because I have a product here, I can divide this h with this h. which would just yield us negative 2x minus 3h minus 4. And that's our answer. 
That whole expression simplifies to negative 2x minus 3h minus 4.